Hey there guys, Kyle here from AndroidCentral.com, and today we're going to be looking at what was probably my favorite game back when I had an iPod Touch, and that is Galcon. Now this just came out on the Android market, so you may not have even heard about it yet, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. Alright, so let's go into a single player first, and up here you basically have a scrollable list of difficulties. Uh, I'm kind of at a middle ground here, what's it called, Commander. So you can definitely start out at an easier level if you're just starting, or you can put it to a lot more difficult. But we'll just kind of have it at a middle level right now, so maybe I can win a couple. So we're going to go ahead and go into Classic, and uh, right here you sort of have the game map. Now I'm the planet up here, I've got 100 ships, and the bigger the planet is, the quicker they make ships. And so basically your goal is to try and capture as many planets as possible and also defeat your enemy, which for my case is right down here, this uh, yellow guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trying to take out as many of these planets as I can and hopefully beat this guy. So let's, let's, see if, uh, let's see if I can do that. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to tap on a planet and drag to move your ships. And right now I've got it set so it takes about 50% of the ships I have on the planet whenever I tap and drag. A great feature is you can double tap and it selects all your planets, and that's basically how you're going to do mass attacks. So you can see here I've already captured most of the most of the planets. What you can also do is you can tap on each planet individually and in order to select a couple of them. And I'm pretty much going to win right here. There we go. Yay! So let's go back and check out some of these other game modes. Basically, you have Beast which is all of these planets are against you and you've got two big ones and you have to kind of try and fight your way out and the limitation is that the enemies will only attack one of your planets at a time so basically you have to quickly move all your forces and capture as many planets as quickly as possible but we won't really go into that right now vacuum is sort of like a time trial just to test your planet capturing skills so right down here in the uh, bottom left, you can see you basically have a timer, uh, minute 30 in this case. And what you're going to try and do is capture all of these planets before that time expires. We won't really bother with that, because honestly, I don't really find it that fun. Stealth, though, is really interesting. Basically, if you uh, watch my enemy up here, he's a blue guy, you actually won't be able to see his ships when he launches them at me. And so that makes it a lot more difficult for me to kind of prevent him from getting a sneak attack on me or capturing my planets. But uh, hopefully he's at a low enough difficulty that I'll beat him anyway. You never know, he could have a giant armada somewhere. Eh, no, looks like I got him this time. Three-way though is really where it's at, uh, in my opinion, in single player. Basically, it's going to be you versus two computer opponents in a giant free-for-all. And it can be a little bit hectic, especially if it goes on for a while. So right here, again, I'm the uh, green player, and I'm against yellow and blue down here in the bottom. Let's go ahead and see if I can do this. I'm trying to take all of these upper planets here. There's a lot of pretty good sized ones, and again, the bigger planets are going to get you ships a lot faster than the smaller ones. There we go, looks like I pretty much got him. I already took out yellow, and basically blue just has a couple, couple of more planets here. What you also want to do is you kind of want to make sure you reinforce your planets to make sure that they don't get captured, and yep, one right there. Alright, I can... pretty good against the computer. But really where the, the best part of this game is in the multiplayer. And the multiplayer is free uh, once you buy the game. So you can play as much online as you want. You can do it over 3G or Wi-Fi, which is really great. Let's go ahead and go into multiplayer here. And so settings, basically you have to create an account before you can start playing online. I already have one. Uh, it's really easy. You can just go to their website and do it. And it has instructions there. So we'll hop right into a uh, multiplayer game. And so when you click on multiplayer, you see it basically opens up a list of servers here. And uh, we'll, ooh, let's not do that. Let's do a 1v1 here. Hopefully someone will join pretty quick. There we go, all right. Let's hopefully, I can beat this guy, but we'll see. Uh, he's going after my home planet. No. Wow. Just narrowly held on there. But, uh, yep, he's gonna beat me. 
Darn you, white player. He got me. All right. So, you the really fun thing about multiplayer is also you can go up to four players. You can have a 2v2 or you can have a basically four player free for all. And uh, as you've seen just from even the two uh, one versus one or against the three way and against the computer, it can get pretty hectic pretty darn quick. So also what's nice about multiplayer is you have uh, full forums, you've got leaderboards and you've got chat. And these are all links that will take you to the guy's website. Uh, so it'll just open up your browser. Those aren't in-game, unfortunately. So, in conclusion, uh, Galcon, right now on the Android market, $3. It's a great buy. You basically get endless multiplayer enjoyment out of it. Um, the guy updates the game regularly. He adds new features all the time. I love it. Uh, hopefully, I will see you guys in multiplayer. We can have some uh, competitions, see who's better. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit better by then. But until then, see you guys later.